Welcome. Um, this video is to review the top 500 words in ancient uh, Hebrew. I got this list from uh, Logos Bible software. I had them um, organize the vocabulary based on usage, and so this is their list. Uh, I think there may be some quirks in the list, but we'll just work through uh, what they've given. So the most common word in the Hebrew Bible is the word and, and uh, I follow the pronunciation ve. So uh, this is how, it, uh, this is the word and. Now how it appears in the sentence is it's joined to a word. So in Genesis 1, better sheep bara Elohim et ha va et ha that's how it will appear. It'll be joined to the next word. And um, if we look at the key, which I'll put in the um, in the Dropbox, uh, I'll give you the Dropbox link for the blank quiz and the key. Um, as, as I remember, there's something like uh, 320,000 uh, words in the Hebrew Bible. Well, of those, uh, almost 38,000 words um, uh, is the word and. So this is very important to uh, uh, make sure that you get that um, word down. Uh, next most frequent word is the word the, and um, the way it will appear in the sentence uh, will be uh, Genesis 1, Bereshit bara Elohim et ha -shamayim. And so what you do is you have a doubling dagesh, if the letter can be doubled, uh, everything can be doubled except guttural's and the resh, then uh, this is the way you do it. And so uh, if we go back to the key, um, you know, 23,000 times that appears in the Hebrew Bible. Um, the word to... Uh, this will be joined um, to the next word, just like and is joined. I think this is from Ezekiel 36, uh, say to the house of Israel. And so you just take this word and you put it uh, next to the word it's going to modify. And if we look at the key, um, 14,000 times it appears. And so you can see that all of these words, uh, these top 15 words, uh, is really going to help you if you learn these words well. Uh, be, uh, same way, um, better sheep from Genesis 1. In the beginning, it's uh, added right up on the word it's uh, being joined to. Um, who, now I appreciate my Hebrew uh, professor, um, he gave me a mnemonic device. Uh, uh, he, uh, Gerald Wilson, the uh, psalm expert, um, he, he said Hebrew is the only language where who means he, and he means she, and me means who, and dog means fish. So who is he, and he is she, and me is who, and dog is fish. So you get four common words there, but who, uh, this is the preposition he. Um, et is the definite direct object marker. And so in that Genesis 1, better she bara Elohim et hashemaim va et haaretz. See, that's this version of, um, then it's saying, it's marking out what is the direct object of the verb. So uh, what is being barad is shemaim, ha shemaim, uh, ha um, Men is from, this is from Ezekiel uh, 36, uh, part of the New Covenant Promises. I will take you from the goyim, from the nations. And so this is... Uh, word and you see um, it appears uh, 5,000 times in the Hebrew text. Um, atah is the word you when you're speaking to a man 
And so um, I think this is from Psalm 22. It says, And you, O Lord, please do not be far from me. Um, the righteous sufferer is crying out. And so this is the Ata, you, you, O Lord. And then we have the word and uh, added to it. Uh, Haim is the word them um, or they. And so this, um, I think, is from Genesis 3. And they knew that they were uh, a rumim, that they were naked. And John Salhammer points out that that word for naked is uh, the normal spelling, the previous spelling, when it says the two of them were a room, uh, so, spelled slightly different. This is kind of the exile nakedness, but you see the word they. Uh, they knew that they were naked. Uh, Ani is uh, I, and uh, this... Um, I think it's from Ezekiel 36, and the goyim will know that I am the Lord, Ki Ani Adonai. Um, then we have the Tetragrammaton. Um, so this appears uh, everywhere, uh, and the goyim will know that I am YHWH. Um, when this word is pointed, in the Hebrew Bible, it's pointed different ways. Um, the When they want you to say Adonai, the full way they point it is with a shva, a holam, and uh, comments. Uh, and that's why some people say Jehovah, but that's not what they're telling you to do. They're saying replace it with the word Adonai. Uh, sometimes they don't put the holum there, just these two. When they want you to replace it with Elohim, and I think a later slide, we have Adonai and then the Tetragrammaton, and they'll point it differently where they'll have a Shva and a Herik uh, to let you know, hey, don't say Adonai, say El Elohim. But this is a God's sacred name. He is who he is. He was who he was. He will be who he will be. Um, L is uh, to or toward. And then I think this is Ezekiel 36 to. Uh, um, I think this may be verse 23 or something. Um, and I will bring them. Uh, sorry, I will bring you L to your Adama, your native land. Um, you can hear there maybe the echo of Eden, but this is the to or toward, and that's how it will look in the text. A share is who or which, and so this is a famous uh, sentence. Uh, oh yeah, this is the um, start of the Ten Commandments. Anoki Adonai Eloheka, I am the Lord your God, who... So that's our word, who. Uh, I brought you out from Ma'eretz Mitzrayim, from the land of Egypt, Mebet Vadim, from the house of being slaves. Uh, I'm the Lord your God, who brought you out. Why should you obey what I say? Well, I've, I've been really good to you. So um, illustrating this word, uh, who, uh, used in the start there of the Ten Commandments. Uh, Amar uh, means he uh, said. Uh, and an example, I think this is Ezekiel 36 again, uh, thus says Adonai Elohim, uh, thus says the Lord God. Um, it's not for your sake I'm about to act. Uh, okay, uh, all is uh, concerning... Um, my Hebrew professor said, if you can remember the name of the Israeli airline, El Al, uh, to, upon, um, I don't know, that helped me remember it. Maybe that will help you as well. Um, this is Ezekiel 36, uh, how it appears in, in an actual sentence. Uh, and you will be loathsome 
in your own face concerning your wickednesses and concerning your abominations. So uh, concerning and then and concerning. That's how this word uh, all appears uh, in the text. All right, so there we have it, uh, 15, the top 15 words. Uh, um, I will post the link to this uh, quiz, and um, this is the key kind of wanting you to fill in here, uh, and then I'll post the blank one as well. Uh, I hope this video will help, and I'll look forward to talking to you next time. Thanks.